Hi, welcome to Rate My Gadget. I'm going to show you how to transfer books and PDFs from your phone and your laptop wirelessly to any Kindle. This can be done um, with Android or Apple phones and um, I'll take you through it. Let's get to it. There are two methods, sideloading or uploading files from your phone or your laptop onto your Kindle wirelessly and I'll show you how to do that. So the first option that's consistent whether you've got an Apple phone, an Android phone, Apple Mac, whatever laptop is you can email it to yourself. So under your Amazon account and you can do this through the app if you go to devices and then you go to preference preferences. Now in order to find out your Kindle address and everyone is unique I mean, you've got two or three Kindles, maybe in your family under one account, then you'll need to find the one that you want to send it to. Then you need to check what emails are safe for you to send documents from, and that's further down just here. And then to send a document, you will just attach it into an email. You don't have to put a subject, but you can do if you want you send that email and it takes probably about five minutes, 10 minutes. Then you have to go onto your Kindle and then sync your Kindle, making sure it's at, it's on a Wi-Fi or it's got data connection. Once you've synced it, as long as it's a format that the Kindle recognizes, then that's fine. Format that the Kindles currently recognize and support, assuming you haven't got any digital rights management. So that means that you haven't got what's called a DRM on that document or on that book. The ones that it will accept, PDFs are fine. Docs can be okay, depending on the Kindle type. And you'll find that EPUBs and Mobies. So EPUBs will work, Mobies won't. The second way of doing it is unfortunately fixed mainly to Android users. I've not tried it on the Apple. Well, that's a lie. I have tried it on the Apple, but I'm not an Apple user myself, so I don't know if it necessarily works. It wasn't immediately obvious. However, the way to do it is once you've got the file on your Android device, you need the Kindle app and then you need what I use is called File Manager. And File Manager is basically like Explorer in which you can actually see your files and documents on your Android phone. Now, what you'll be doing is once you've downloaded the document or you have it onto your phone, you can then hold down under File Manager, click Share and find the Kindle option. Now, you may have to go to More. Once you've found the Kindle option, it will say, do you wish to add this document to your library? Well, before that, you may want to change the name of the document, amend it, whatever you want to call it. I'd recommend putting an author in there, even if it's just one letter, because sometimes it does need that, depending on the Kindle. Then you can either add it to library. And what add it to library means is you're basically putting it onto your account and all of the Kindles that are linked to your account will get that document either in their archive or it will go straight onto their device ready for downloading. However, I would recommend sending it directly to the device. The reason for that is I have found that when you try and send it to the library, the archiving of the document can get confusing because depending on how many books you've got on there, it may be difficult to find it. So I always send it directly to the device I want to read the document or see the document on. Once you've done that and you hit send, it will take, it says five minutes, but I would give it a good 15 minutes. Go to the device where you want to see the document and refresh it. Now, if you're not seeing the document, then it may well be that there are two things that are potentially wrong. First thing that may be wrong is that the document itself is not an allowable version. You won't get any error message that bounces back. Unlike the email option where it will send you an email back saying this is not a supported format, you won't get this via the shared option. Second reason is sometimes if your document has an apostrophe or a special character in it, I found it doesn't come through as well. So if you can, try and remove any apostrophes, try and move any special characters before sending the document because on some Kindles that can give you a problem. Other than that, it should come up on there once you sync your Kindle. I hope that's helped. I do have other videos showing um, the Kobos. Are they better than the Kindles? 
comparison of the color version. I also show in another video coming soon how to transfer all of your Kindle books onto your laptop for safekeeping or even transfer them onto another e-reader such as Kobo or another Kindle. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that's helped and please do like, please subscribe.